The successful implementation of a Moodle quiz begins with the creation of a question bank. I'm logged in as my dear, dear friend Jane Kleiman to show you what she has done with her department in the health sciences. To create a question bank, one would start in their classroom Moodle shell. I'm going to scroll down to the administration block in Jane's shell which for her is on the left hand side, but that um, can be moved anywhere in your Moodle page, right hand or left hand side. And I'm gonna click on questions. When I do so, it brings me to the question bank creator where there are a series of categories that can be set up by an individual teacher or a team of teachers. Notice when I click on this pull down menu, there are bolded, areas of the hierarchy in Moodle. So it is possible to begin to create questions and store them in the actual course. But if Jane were to do that, the only person who could use the questions in the bank would be her. If she stores them higher in the Moodle hierarchy, like for instance at the HHS Health Science area of the hierarchy, then her colleagues could use those questions as well. And that's what her colleagues and she have chosen to do. So you can see that there's these subcategories that they created, and you can see the number of questions in each of the categories. Keep in mind that if you want to access questions or create questions at a higher level in the Moodle hierarchy, you will need to email a Moodle administrator such as Terry Oslin to request access to the question bank at that level. If they had placed this question bank at the system level, then it is possible for any teacher outside of Hopkins High School, so at the junior highs for example, to use those questions as well. So the higher the question bank is in the Moodle hierarchy, the more people that have access to those actual questions in the bank. So let me show you how to create a category and a question in the question bank. So create a category, which is an excellent idea for organization, especially if a team of teachers are using these questions. You click on the Categories tab. From within here, you're only going to see the level of the hierarchy that you have been assigned by a Moodle administrator. So again, if you only see um, the categories within your own course, you might want to request greater access. So if I want to create an additional category here, I would go all the way down to the bottom of the page and create my new category name. So for example, another health topic might be media literacy, for example. So I'm talking about like TV and movies and commercials and things of that nature. I would want to put that under the rest of the health courses so I am going to go under the category Health Science, and I'm going to just add it under there. So I'm going to choose Top, which is under the Health Science category or level of the hierarchy. Most people don't put in category information. I'm just going to click Add. So now you will notice that there is a category, but it has zero questions in it. So now if I want to add a question to that, I simply go back up to the Questions tab, and I choose that category under the pull down menu. And then I choose the type of question. So I'm going to do something really easy for this. I'm just going to do a true false question and I'm going to make probably something silly up. This is a little bit tricky. In the, in the question name, you don't want to put a whole lot in there. Maybe just some sort of a keyword that's going to remind you what that is about, the question. So I'm going to put something in here about TVs and teenagers. And then my actual question is going to be the complete text that I want to pose to my students. So I'm going to make something up here. Does TV influence the attitudes of teenagers? Now that's not a very smart question. I made it up. So what I would be able to do is if I had an image that I had uploaded to Moodle, I could choose um, from here to add that image. But actually, I would just leave that blank because if you did want to put an image in your question, you could put it right in the body of your question here by clicking on Insert Image. You want to give a point value 
for the question. And then I'm going to skip over all of these individual details here and just put in true or false, which is pre-created in um, or pre-populated in this question type. So I'm going to say the correct answer is true and false is the other answer you can notice here. If I wanted students to be able to see any feedback based on their choice, I could type that in as well. And then I'm going to click on Save Changes. So now you will notice that if I go back to look at the categories, that there is one question in Media Literacy. Now that bank or that category inside the bank could be used to build a quiz at a later date.